It's finally happening for the first time in a long time. You're hearing everybody talk about silver and gold. Oh my God, gold's going to all-time highs. And it's honestly the worst possible thing that could happen. Why? Well, that's easy. Most stackers never sell one ounce of their of their silver or gold, particularly their gold. But these days, the thing is, anytime that this kind of thing happens where you see the run-up in price, especially from, you know, again, just a few months back, what was it, December? Uh, silver was in the 17s. Whenever you see this kind of thing happening, it really just makes it crazy because first, the prices aren't gonna stick around. Spot price isn't gonna stick up here. It's not the big run up that you think it is. It's just like anything else. There's booms and busts. The problem is that what is gonna stick around is these ridiculous premiums and they're only gonna get higher. Why? Well, again, that's easy. The bullion dealers are not your friend. And so what's gonna end up happening is the hype around silver and gold is gonna stick around for the rest of the year, even as spot drops. So basically, all this is doing is driving up spot for you and me, making it harder to get more. Bad times ahead. Now, on the flip side, if you're the investor that you really think you are, well, great. You should be selling hand over fist right now, trying to get, what, $27, $28 an ounce? Most of your stuff, I mean, you could probably get more if it's like some of the nicer, you know, nicer bullion. But even then, are you really selling? No, 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 you're not. You know you're not. Why? Because it's going to 30, it's going to 50, it's going to it's going to 100. It's going to whatever the, the debt clock says it should be priced at. Well, if you're waiting for that, you're probably going to be waiting a long time because it's not coming down the pike anytime soon. Now, could price go higher? Yeah. But again, there's only a finite amount of money in the system and it's always going to chase return. So with the big pump in precious metals prices is particularly spot you would expect that at some point profits are going to be taken and i don't think it's going to be that far off that's the thing when you think at when you think of the the general market environment lately i mean stocks have gotten pumped uh you know commodities have had a nice little run but nothing lasts especially in this environment where money floods from one thing to the next very quickly what does last again those premiums and so if you're stocking physical it's just not a place to be i mean especially for the medium term because every ounce you buy is going to cost you more and more now that being said that brings up another good point something else that the stocking community just you know shakes its head at and uh, doesn't embrace paper silver paper silver paper gold etfs whatever if you don't know what an option is, it's basically a directional bet on you know which way the price of a certain security is going to go, uh, and you can buy them on you know gold, silver, whatever. But in this environment, when we've seen this big rise in spot price, I mean honestly, what I'd be looking to do is uh, shorting some silver ETFs, shorting some gold ETFs. In the short run, yeah, I think uh, you know they, they may tick up a little bit more. But we're right in the range where you start to see resistance. Now, that's not a technical analysis answer to the question. But again, it's just something that uh, that you see time and time again. There's something in this area that's, you know, kind of a price pressure. And I think especially with silver, given that it's, you know, an industrial metal, there's a certain level where the demand drops off. It's not worth, you know, purchasing unless, you know, it's necessary. That being said we're probably in that range. I mean, anywhere around $25 is a pretty healthy bounce for, uh, you know, for silver. Gold back above 2000 it's it's a big, it's, you know, a big run. Again, the problem is if you're not selling, and we all know you're not selling your physical, you got to find a way to capitalize on the price drop back down. Because again, for the rest of this year, you're going to be paying the premiums associated with this bump. Make no mistake. That being said, this is where paper, silver, paper, gold come in. If you can buy an ETF, actually, if you can short an ETF or find an inverse ETF, something that when price goes down, the value of it goes up on metals, that's probably where I would be looking to start parking some cash. Why? Because, okay, think of it this way. If price goes higher, yes, the value of that investment's gonna drop, but if price drops, you're gonna make fiat on that security that you can turn around and take and, and actually purchase physical with. It's kind of a no-brainer. Very simple to implement, very cost-effective. But you're covering your bases as opposed to being at the mercy of price. Again, 
you, there's a lot of stackers that look at these kind of runs up and down as, oh, this is great for metals. No, it's not. It's terrible if you're a physical stacker. Price going up is terrible. That is the last thing you want. You want price to drop so you can accumulate more. And again, if you haven't been done, you know, down this road before, it's the same old song and dance. Higher spot price means higher premiums because you know everybody jumps on board. Your uncle, your cousin, your you know whoever that all of a sudden they've got a few ounces of silver. That is the worst thing that can happen as a physical stacker. People don't realize it. And again, why is that? Because again, stackers don't sell their stack. If you're buying and selling physical, you're absolutely doing it wrong. I mean, that that goes without saying. You need to be using, you know, ETFs and paper, silver, and gold if you're doing that. Now, if you're doing it once in a while, yeah, you can sell your stack, you know, some of your stack and blah, blah, blah. But nobody does it. Nobody does it with regularity. If they do, I mean, it's more just to kind of meet a need or things like that. In this environment where you see a big run up in silver price, take advantage of it because if it goes up further great your stacks more valuable but you're not selling so it's irrelevant to you but if it goes down you can take advantage of the price drop get yourself more silver and that's what it's all about right